If you want a series of components in a particular order, then you can make something called a component set. So to do that, I'm going to go around right here and bring in a rectangular box right here. So this is what I have. Let me just turn this black right here. So let's say I want to turn this into a component set. Then I'm going to copy and paste this right here. Click and drag this out and select both of these and click on the drop down menu right here and create a component list. So now it'll analyze how far apart the component is. So you will have to make sure that both of these are same. So what you have to do is click on the plus button and you can see that you can add in more component right here, just like this. Click plus again and there you go. You can click plus, plus and there you go. There's the repeated section as you can see right here. And the components will be uh, multiplied right here. Let me just delete this and then bring in uh, other shapes. So let me just go around, bring in an ellipse right here. So let's go around over here, bring in the red color. So if I were to go around and then go for a star, this is what I have. So I'm going to turn this into a group and then work around with components. So I'm just going to go around right here, select this, select both of these, right click and then group these out. So I'm going to, uh, let's say, resize this out right here, keep this over here, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V and then duplicate this. Let me just select both of these and over here you can create a component list. So this is what you have right here. You can press the plus button and you can see that this is uh, what happens. So you can go around right here and then you can go around right here and there you go. So you can see that you can add in multiple instances of the component right here, just like this. So there you go. These are the components. You can move these right here. You can see that they actually go around right here. And as you pull this, you can see that uh, uh, on the center over here. So if I were to click and drag this, you can see that you can control their distance over here as well. And that is how it looks. You can pull this out right over here as well. And there you go. You can work around with different components right here. So there you go. This is what you have. You can go around right here, bring in the components, keep them together and then work around with these as you can see. So this is more like a group which is there. You can go around, increase and decrease the size right here as you can see and then work around with this as if this was in a grid. And that is how you can com uh, create a component set inside of a design file in Figma. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.